So the toxicities so far have been similar for standard fractionation for standard fractionated radiation therapy and for SBRT. The main toxicities are really re related to the inflammation that the radiation produces during the treatment and that related to increased frequency with urination. There's also increased bleeding uh, that is going to be seen in the stool or in or in or with the urine. And really the key part for this is to understand that this is inf an inflammatory process, that patients will get better over time, that there's really no need to try to do invasive procedures uh, that actually in the long term usually don't prove to be as effective. So usually it's just do medical management for these patients, anti-inflammatory agents, sometimes steroids, uh, decrease the frequency of their urination, increase the frequency of the bowel movements the patient's having, uh, rectal bleeding or pain, and over time the patients get better and all these heals. Uh, usually we see a first wave during the radiation therapy and shortly after, and then usually we see a second wave of inflammation that starts happening about six months after we complete the radiation therapy, and it can and or start all the way up to about a year and this patient will have intermittent symptoms of uh, intermittent inflammatory symptoms and usually after a year year and a half they start to get fewer and fewer and usually past two years patients are completely healed and they don't have any more symptoms from the radiation therapy